based off of a previous sub goal that we hit a couple days ago, I agreed to do Osu coaching. Now, here's the problem. I've never in my entire life properly coached anyone. I've given bits of advice here and there, but this will be my first stab at Osu coaching. Will it go terribly wrong? Most likely. But I think it's worth a shot. How are we going to conduct this? Well, here's the deal. I'm going to create a channel, a voice channel limited to two individuals. I will be one of those individuals. The second person, once I open it, the first person to join that voice channel will be the one to be coached. It is a race to the finish line. This is it. Element! Oh shit, wait, what the hell? How'd you get in here? I have no clue. <laughs> Welcome, Element! You are the first client of the BTMC Professional Osu Coaching Incorporated business. What struggles are you having with Osu Game today? Streams and finger control, actually. Streams and finger controls. Let's get specific. What are you struggling with exactly? All right. I guess uh, streams longer than 10 or 12 notes. 10 or 12 notes. Is this yeah. at any sort of BPM, even at like, yes. let's say 170 or 160? Yep. Could you send Play us your profile? It. I'd like to take a look. Sure. Aha. So you are a five digit, close to four digit. Your top scores include, ooh, hidden hard rock scores and Nomad scores. Oh, you even have a DT score here and there. Okay. I respect yeah, it. So let me get into like the most common, uh, the common mistakes that people have while, while they're playing stream apps. So typically, uh, obviously you're supposed to alternate your fingers, uh, between your, we'll say Z and X keys, right? But the most mm -hmm. common mistake that people do is that they tense up their hand. Typically when someone is, uh, performing a stream, uh, they want to keep, you want to keep your hand as relaxed as possible because the thing that actually drains your stamina the most is actually the, the, the action of you like tensing up your hand, which is natural, right? And when, the, when a, a large stream of objects, uh, come on in, you're trying to like go as fast as possible. Sometimes, uh, if, if it's too fast, you'll, you're trying to match that speed and in the action of trying to match that speed, it, you naturally tend to tense up. I want you to go ahead and play this map for me. This is a classic map, Tower Heaven. Okay, try playing the extra version of that oh okay oh. element pop off how's your hand feel right now uh pretty pretty relaxed to be honest that's good that's good is this a typical performance for you no it's not oh let's go <laughs> the coaching pop off but here's where it actually begins Oh, you're doing good though. You're doing good. Keep going. Oh. All right. Okay. Well, I can definitely say your aim is very, very smooth. Very nice. And when you're single tapping, it's definitely you. You are a rhythm player. I can see that your your action, your hits are very close together. Very experienced, experienced in the rhythm department. But you do seem to have an issue even when you're doing bursts. So tell us a little bit about this play. So you said that you were keeping your hands like uh, fairly relaxed, which is good. All right, we want that. But how does this compare to your normal performance? So bursts like max to uh like seven or eight notes like i'm like i'm fine with but so as soon so as soon as it reaches like 10 notes my hand just like like tenses so much to the point where where i can't even tap correctly i can't alternate correctly 
So like, here's the thing, based on the information that we got from this play, all right, from just like a first attempt, no expectations, all right, popping off, new top local score, absolutely phenomenal. But what's actually even crazier, all right, is the fact that you were overstreaming. You were overstreaming 175 BPM, all right? That means your potential speed already in your current state is higher than 175. You're off to a really good start. You have so much potential. What you mainly need to lock down is the consistency aspect of it, all right? Okay, let me try sending you a different map now. Try this map. I'm expecting you to get absolutely shit on with this map. Oh yeah, I know this map and yes. I probably will. <laughs> yes. Oh no, I do have it. I want I you gotcha. to go go 110%. Imagine like someone is going to give you like $6 million if you pass this map. No way, dude, I should do. Try, oh like, okay. like, imagine that, okay? Keep going, Element! Don't give up! Never give up. Let's fucking go! This Let's is go. it, Element! You have a small break here. Oh. Try to loosen up yourself, all right? Conserve your stamina. Recover it. All right. All out. This is it, Element. No! no! <laughs> that was good, though. That was good. That was insane. That was absolutely insane. Element, what you're doing right now is pushing boundaries. Okay? Can you feel yourself being challenged can you feel the yeah. improvement okay this Definitely. is something that every single time that you're playing osu you need to get into this mindset of like okay today i'm going to break barriers i'm going to destroy my old scores and and you're going to push yourself to your actual absolute limit so i hope this has been helpful uh i am i am going to move on to helping the next next person okay. uh out of 10 okay. how would you rate this session be honest 10 point 10.1 let's go because you actually you actually gave me advice that the help uh, that i needed yeah yeah because like, uh, i so. think you're just underestimating yourself that's the that's the biggest yeah, thing yeah, because you're yeah. not because you're underestimating yourself you're not challenging yourself anymore and improvement only comes from challenging yourself mm -hmm. all right so best of luck element thank you very much oh hello oh logama you are our next clientele for the btmc incorporated coaching uh uh, uh training camp but anyways uh <clears throat> logama welcome welcome to the coaching session all right yeah um could you send us your osu profile in the oh shit ho 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 okay right. we have a mid five digit in here okay okay anyways all right so based off of your best performances i can see that you are a dt player with a, a occasional um what's called nomad scores what are you struggling with? What what would, what is going to be the main focus of today's session? Um, I mean, longer maps. I can't really I can't really seem to FC longer maps, Ooh. especially like stream, like especially like jump maps. Okay, so longer beat maps. The topic of FCing longer maps usually divulges into the realm of consistency. Okay, so would you say that you're having a consistency issue? Okay, so you said that recently you've been playing like longer beat maps. Has how yeah. recently is this? Three months ago. That's when the, through the fire and flames was there. Okay, so three months ago. That's actually a pretty long time. So you've been going at this for for a while. What types of maps have you been playing? Can you share your screen and like showcase some of them? The the first um, ones off the top of your head. I mean, the fire and flames. I guess would pop up. Try playing that for us. I I want to see you uh, perf uh try your absolute. Not too bad, dude. Take a deep breath. Slow down. Slow down.
relax. 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 Nice. Damn. You're doing good, man. All good. That was pretty awesome, man. That was pretty fucking awesome. So, did you feel me telling you to relax and slow down? Did you feel that helped yes. at all? I, I did. Yes. Okay, so that's good. All right, because the goal is that you need to do that for yourself, right? In your head, when you see, when you see the symptoms of yourself, like being tense, of, of starting to aim early, of getting nervous, you literally need to, in your head, tell yourself to slow down and to relax. Uh, out of 10, what would you rate this session? An eight or a nine. Eight oh, no! Holy fuck, dude. I started, dude, okay, now I know how you guys feel. All right, I was watching this dude actually about to FC this fucking map and I was starting to get nervous, dude. I could feel my heart pumping. My God, that was insane. Dude, his combo was insane. Holy shit. All right, chat. I think we have enough time for one last person. One last person. That's it. Bedward Sweat. Welcome. What's up? Oh, it is time. Are you ready to have your brain forced in with knowledge? Yes, sir. You are a six digit. Rank 600k. Top plays. You play a lot of Nomad. That's good. You're working on your foundational skills. That's fantastic. Okay. So what are your struggles? Currently, I'm struggling a lot with my aim. And I also really want to get to speed. I've been trying to do practice stream maps for a little while. So um, let's get you playing a map. Because when it comes to this skill range, I actually don't really know much about like how people play around this skill range. Okay, so uh, can you share your screen and play a map that you are fairly confident on? Nice. Okay, this is actually kind of crazy. Your accuracy is very, very good. You've been working on like, you give, how long have you been working on like stream type beat maps? For like, uh, for five to seven days. Five to seven days. And your accuracy is already this good, especially in bursts. That's really fucking good. You mentioned that the that, that what you want to focus on, at least for this session, 
is speed. Okay, so let's talk about that. Play play a map that you think is uh, is like very fast and that mm. uh, you are struggling to to play. Because that map that you just me... played is around 160 BPM, right? 160. Let me find it here. 200? Oh, shit. You have a fucking 95, almost 96% play on the 200 BPM map? What? Okay, yeah. okay. We got to see this. Try, try playing it. Okay, I'm muted right now. Holy fucking shit, dude. This guy is something else. He has so much potential. All right. <clears throat> Let me start off by saying the fact that you can single tap 200 BPM triples is kind of cracked. All right. Yeah. But with that being said, it is probably one of the greatest things that's going to be holding you back because right now that's baked into your muscle memory to the point where you are relying on single tapping triples and doubles instead of alternating them which if that is your natural go-to automatic function you are royally screwing yourself for the long term right mm -hmm. so we're talking yeah. about fundamentals okay fundamentals for your speed if you want to improve your speed you have to destroy that habit all right if you want to if you want to play like fast single tap stuff play those types of maps so what i've noticed with your aim is that it's, it's very shaky um, is this the DPI that you typically use? Like, what DPI do you use? Oh, 0.64. Holy shit. Wait, 800 DPI with 0.64? Wait, that's really low. I Are actually you, play... Do you have to move I your hand play, a lot of, uh, when you play? Uh, sort of, but, like, most, like, most of the time is usually a mouse drift because I'm a mouse, I'm a mouse keyboard player. Do you experience a lot of mouse drift even now? I kind of experience, like, a unique mouse drift where my mouse actually goes down instead of going to, like, the left or the right. Do you hold your mouse at an angle? I don't hold it at an angle. Okay, here's the deal. Go back to the first map that you played, the one that you said that you were comfortable on. So I want you to play this song, except I want you to keep your hand as relaxed as possible and make your cursor movement as smooth as possible. I don't want to see you snap on any of these objects because I noticed that you snapped on them before, which gave me the impression that you were using a high DPI. But try flowing right. through every single pattern. Do not snap right. at all. Coaching a mouse player on aim when I'm a tablet player is really difficult because I'm having to think to like what I used to do back in back when I played with a mouse. And seeing how that incorporates. This is not really my sort of level of expertise. But I do know that the fundamentals are the same. Which that uh, you want to keep your aim hand as relaxed as possible. And the amount... Uh, the way that you showcase your comfortability with a beat map is by showing how well you're able to flow through it. If you have perfect aim, your aim should look like it's never snapping. Yes, mouse players and tablet players will read the same way. It's just a different input device. You're not changing how you interpret each object. Okay, that was good.
Okay, that was really good. So the reason why I had you uh, flow through this map rather than snap is because it's a con it's a test of aim control. How well are you able to control your aim while uh, while you're playing a song, right? Um, when you're snapping, that typically gives you the most amount of control. Uh, like it gives you like the most amount of confidence because you know exactly where your cursor is, right? But when you're flowing through uh, a set of objects, you don't exactly know where your cursor is. You can only gauge that based off of how fast you're moving your cursor rather than where your cursor is on the field. All right, I think that should be enough for you to work on. This will at least lay the foundation. And once you master these fundamentals that I, I've given you, you th it should lay the foundation for you to improve a lot easier. Also, one last thing. How would you rate mm -hmm. this coaching session? One to 10. 11 out of 10. Let's go! All right, Mr. Bedwar Sweat, AKA Cryptocurrency, AKA Crypto. Thank you very much for joining me live on stream. Yeah. This is very epic. I appreciate you your too. cooperation. All right, have a good one, dude. Oh my God, that was crazy. Chat, what do you guys think? Osu Coaching by BTMC. That was the last one. That was the last one. We've literally spent like four fucking hours on this shit.